Welcome to fucking tech and uh, this time we're gonna take a look at my uh, for the time being my in-game keyboard well not this as it is now but uh, this is gonna be a step into the uh, evolution or uh, cycle of the Zuki keyboard uh, Zuki obviously means a vermilion bird a Zuki it's a Chinese term meaning the vermilion bird the fire phoenix and the fire phoenix is a bird basically a mythological bird that sort of dies and rises from its own ashes so it's a cycle of death and rebirth so basically this is what this keyboard is going to go through so this is going to be my end keyboard but basically this is going to be totally ripped out all the key caps all the key switches because you can remove the key switches on the team wolf zuki plus x08 and this is exactly what i'm going to do with this this is because um uh, well, as, as, uh, as you've seen in my um, low profile <laughs> video, uh, well, everything's going to be transferred into this board. So all my black Razer keycaps are going to come onto this with my Silent Sky switches. So uh, because it doesn't really fit on my low profile board, well, that's, they're going to move here instead. So... Now this board, you can take off the keycaps and the switches. So I already pulled out a switch. Now this board has blue switches. Uh, they're very clicky and clicky switches suck. <laughs> That's like, you, 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 don't need, you don't need clicky switches. It's ridiculous. Uh, yes, they're tactile, but you don't need that stupid sound, man. And it's like, it's, you don't need that much feedback in the keyboard. You know, if, if you if you if your parents never gave you enough feedback and and gave you a, a support or never told you, hey, good job, uh, you know, uh, like a nice thing you did there, or good job or something, uh, you know, if your if your friends or coworkers or bosses that you had in your life, they they, they never told you, hey, good job, great stuff, or uh, you know, gave you uh, you know feedback, you know, uh, this is not a way to compensate for a lack of feedback in your life. You know, nobody needs this much feedback. This is ridiculous. If you need this much feedback because you, you lacked feedback while you were younger, well, go see a psychologist or something, you know? Uh, yo, bro. It's not about getting validation. It's about oh. silencing the voices uh, in your head. Voices oh, uh, in your head. Oh, well, uh, voices <laughs> in your head. Uh, make it stop. <laughs> make it stop. <laughs> well, in any case, you should see a psychologist anyways, <laughs> in, in either case. So uh, what do we have here? Uh, th this is uh, basically my, um, the, the project, I'm going to call it the uh, Silent Phoenix. Silent Phoenix because I'm going to put the uh, Outamu Silent Sky switches because they're very quiet for my recording studio at home, which is going to be my main keyboard at home because I, the recording studio is in my... Uh, living room so to speak so um i don't want to I, I i can't have any clicky sounds even though i have uh, uh gates or expanders to protect against that i don't want clicky sounds in my recordings with the studio in the house so this is going to go completely silent and the razor keycaps are very nice they're very solid uh, we'll see what it uh, comes, how it comes out with the lighting. Uh, the keyboard doesn't have a tremendous uh, amount of or, uh, or, or variety in the RGB. This is rainbow RGB, meaning that e each line has a specific color. So the colors don't change. So uh, if this row is orange, well, it's going to stay orange. So it's not going to change, but I don't really care about that. All I need is a keyboard that, uh, because my keycaps are, are going to be black, I need something that I can see in the dark. Uh, because my studio is uh, a little bit uh, uh, underlighted or <laughs> it's a bit dark so I need to see the legends on my keycap so I just need a little bit of lighting so I see the the, the, the legends and that's it now for you people who like to your you like your keyboards without any legends well good for you I want legends <laughs> so uh, that's that's all I need I don't need like fancy lighting uh, effects or breathing or anything like that even though this keyboard has it uh, there's all kinds of effects there what the, the it's a limited uh, selection of uh, the ripple sucks just like the ducky one two uh 
anyways there's there's not a lot of variety in the um in the effects but i don't care about that as long as i can see there's a different um intensities but as long as i can see my keycaps that's it so so what's the bill cost of this whole thing well first off we got the zuki keyboard which a 2000 which is a 2016 keyboard uh, that i got for uh um on the facebook marketplace used for 40 dollars and 40 dollars i got a bonus Redragon Perdition Mouse. Look at that. <laughs> Probably never going to use this. <laughs> but I'm going to use the keyboard. And I'm using this keyboard because it has the universal uh, switches or the KL sockets for the key switches that can take any brand of key switch, not just the uh, Automu. Uh, if you buy a Redragon keyboard, uh, you're going to be stuck with the Automu switches, which I don't mind because I still have Silent Sky switches from Audemu, but they, they uh, as you've seen in the low profile video, they just don't fit while well, they don't, it's, it, they're, they're too big. So everything's moving to this keyboard here. So we got the keyboard, $40, um, the uh, Audemu Silent Sky switches for about, I think I am, I'm, a, I'm using 87 of these switches. I'm not gonna transform the, uh, I'm, not, I'm not replacing the numpad. I'm gonna keep that stock as a, Sort of like a tribute or a remembrance of what the original keyboard was on the numpad. Uh, maybe switch the keycaps to black. Anyways, I'll see. So I got 87 of these. It's around about $80 for the switches and the Razer Black Double Shot PBT keycap upgrade kit is uh, $40 Canadian. And on these, I got the uh, Rosewill RO100T O-ring with the 50A softness. And I'm gonna put in the uh, Cherry Original Stabilizers for this. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing with this keyboard. So the stabilizers is about 20 bucks. The Rosewill O-ring kit is about $16. So the whole thing, the whole keyboard, is gonna be around $196 Canadian. So uh, that's that's what the cost of this project is. But I've already used the Razer uh, keycaps and the Silent Skies on the uh, Retro Party keyboard and the Low Profile. And with the Razer keycaps, it's really nice. I really like these. Uh, it, it's it, the feel of the Razer keycaps. They're really, really good. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to enjoy this tremendously. So that's my uh, end game keyboard for now. And later on, if I decide it's not my uh, end game end game keyboard, well, I can always switch my switches for something else because I can, and I can't, and I don't have to resolve to out of move switches. I can use Gatorons, I can use Cherry switches, I can use Kales or whatever because of these uh, Kale sockets that accept any brand of switch. So, so that's what I'm um, what I'm aiming, aiming for. So that's what I'm going for. Uh, maybe ultimately I'm gonna go, perhaps with some uh, Zeal PC Silence or something. I'll see what that does, but I don't think that's gonna change much from the uh, Outermost Skies. So that's pretty much it. So that's the Silent Phoenix project, and um, that's about it. Now after this, you're gonna see the transformation. All right, buddy.
Woohoo! All right, there we go. The Silent Phoenix is complete. <laughs> I got my Razor keycaps, my silent switches, the Auto Move silent switches. There we go. And and you know why did I choose this board? Well, I found it on the used marketplace, on the Facebook marketplace. Someone was selling it used. And I just thought it, it looks it's it looks nice. It's a it's a good looking board. It's like a silver metallic top. The bottom is white. I don't care about that. Cable is white. I can probably put something on that, but I don't really care. Like a black braid on top of it or something, but I don't really care. Just just the look of it. Just like the metallic. Look, look at the, the 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 reflective accents. Like the mirror finish and the, the little strip there, and they got a strip on this uh, up and down. It's like a it's like a cross, and you get the like the the, the metallic uh, embossed zuke and the, the the screws, the silver screws. Uh, I like it. It's it just it looks good, and uh, the camera just doesn't do it justice. But. Uh, in, in a darker environment and all the little reflections and the lights it's it's pretty good so the the choice was look and because i could put any uh key switches into these sockets later on i could upgrade to anything and I, I i want not just outimu so that's good so that's why i chose this so it's not it doesn't doesn't give me like a super retro or uh or vintage uh, it's a four-year-old keyboard, and it's uh, there's a certain rarity to it, so it's like uh, it's it's mostly for the look and the sockets, the, the key switch sock. So I just thought it looks good. It looks good. It's original. Uh, no one else almost will have this, and uh, that's the beauty of it. That that's why I like this, uh, and I got it for super cheap, forty bucks. So there you go. <laughs> so I got I, I have my own exclusive sense to it while it is uh, pretty unique in the sense that uh, you know i got uh, a somewhat rare board with uh, uh, my own uh, keycaps and my own switches on it so there you go so uh, you're probably not going to see anything like this anywhere soon um so that's why i chose i just chose beauty and the, the socket so um i i i was looking for a keyboard that had the keyboard like the the, the switch indicators into the key caps themselves into the keys so caps lock it lights up when you press the caps lock and the num lock lights up when you press the num lock but I find and the scroll lock too so scroll lock it lights up when it's uh, um, toggled now I realized uh, I wanted this uh, like and then I realized well I wanted it and then I realized it's not very practical. Uh, it's better to have key key light indicators on the top of your keyboard or something. Uh, or in the end, just install some little software like trace status or something uh, because your eyes are on the screen anyways. So why look at the keyboard when you're looking at the screen anyways? So that's that's the point of it. So, so uh, slightly disappointed, but it uh, still adds the uniqueness to the board. So anyways, so the keycaps, they're Razor keycaps, they reduce the brightness, the shine through the keycaps. I already knew this, uh, I already knew this because of the low profile. I knew the lights would not shine through very much, but it's okay. I don't need that much brightness in the keycaps. Uh, because uh, I use it in a low light environment and as long as I can see what the, the the legends are it's fine I don't need that that much more on it so it's fine it's perfect so the switches uh, they're silent sky uh, auto move silent sky switches they come with the five pins um, under them so you can cut two of them uh, to actually fit into the board because the board doesn't support five pins it only supports uh, three pins and if you uh, noticed in the time lapse, I kept some blue switches in some for certain keys. <clears throat> and the reason for that is, well, it turns out the Razer keycaps, they actually silence a lot of the clickiness of the blue switches. So I don't know how these 
key camps actually do this, but they dampen a lot of the sound, so it's fantastic. So I got silent switches with the sound dampening Razer keycaps. So the clickiness, uh, I kept blue switches on certain keys that are toggles and modifiers. Therefore, num lock is a clicky switch. Scroll lock is a clicky switch. Insert is also a toggle. So therefore it's a clicky switch. Caps lock is a clicky switch and all my modifiers shift control function alt and the windows key they're all clicky switches also so even if i'm typing a lot i'll be typing a lot it doesn't create a lot of noise because you're just maybe shift every uh like one shift every sentence or something and uh so th there's not a lot of clickiness to it but you still have some clicky just every once in a while so it's just uh i, I thought it was an, a good idea to have clickies on all the toggles and modifiers so uh, i'm gonna run with that for a little while see if i like that but so far it seems pretty good so um so the keyboard because it was uh originally with the uh, blue switches the clicky blue switches well this keyboard <laughs> serves as a, a, a board i can harvest <laughs> to have some blue switches that i can install on other keyboards if i build other keyboards i can use these as my toggles and modifiers so it's basically a board that i can use the harvest uh, to purpose other boards for the modifiers and my toggles so i still believe i'm using clickies and my toggles but i still believe that if you have a full clicky keyboard, you're still nuts. Anyways, <laughs> uh, the stabilizers on this thing uh, are another another issue. It's a, maybe a difficulty that I encountered, but not really. Uh, it's not really a difficulty. Uh, I kept the original stabilizers because the way the keyboard is made, it's a little bit different than the standard Cherry MX stabilizers. So, um, it's a little weird because the stabilizers, if you compare with the cherry, it's like they're reversed. It's like they're they're rotated around uh, with the board. So it's a little strange. So uh, for example, if I had a, like a standard cherry, I would install the bar towards the the top, little the metal bar towards the top. But on this keyboard, the stabilizers, uh, it's it's a bit strange. They go the the bar is on the bottom, so I can technically fit these in. The original cherries, I can fit this on the board, but the keycaps, when I put the keycap, it doesn't align uh, properly with all the uh, the stems and it uh, doesn't work very well. The, 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 the key doesn't go up and down. It's sort of, sort of stuck. So, so uh, they, these stabilizers are, they look like the cherry, but uh, it's a bit, they're a little bit different and uh, there's a, little blocking bar there's a little bar that blocks the stem to go up so these guys that there's no blocking so i would have to cut this bar there's a little little bar to like a plastic bar so the metal bar could go all the way up and uh i don't know i didn't try that mod yet but anyway so it's a different type of stem system so instead of um the keycap connecting to the stem the keycap actually has uh removable stems i had to remove these from the other key so they fit into the mx uh, socket that like as, as the one you see in the middle they fit in, into that and then they just clip into the metal bar boink when you put it into the keyboard so uh because of the funkiness uh, i tried putting in the original cherries and uh, the, click, the, the the metal bar just doesn't work so i stuck with the original but i don't care it, it works it works fine uh and because of the razor keycaps, everything is super silent anyways. Uh, I don't think I could do anything to make these more silent as they are. So it's uh, it's it's really good as it is. So uh, keep the original stabilizers. I'll keep the cherries for another keyboard or something. So, yeah. So that's that. That's me, my uh, silent phoenix. Is that that has been reincarnated or re relived into a different kind of keyboard and uh yeah 
I'll keep this for a while. I'm enjoying it so far and uh, looking forward to get some, uh, what's it called? Zeal PC Aqua, Aqua Xylent switches and see how they feel just for the, the fun of it. And I still have a lot of brown switches I can use to build a keyboard. A lot of people are selling their cheap uh, Red Dragon boards. I could all, uh, I could try building something with that. So that's that, the beautiful Silent Phoenix. Look at this, this is, I just I just like this, the, the reflections and it's uh, like how many keyboards actually have something like this right now? Not many keyboards have like little beauty accents. <laughs> they, they usually have mostly like one, one color style of metallic or whatever, like it's all, there's no embossing or mirror finish. I don't know, this is, it has its own style. Even though it's a budget keyboard, uh, I just think it's good, it looks good. So, um, there you go, Silent Phoenix. Fuckingtech.com